I think even if I was devoted to finding the same corpus more or less in the three provinces, I think it would be interesting to maybe to uh, bring to a book, but to, to do this in ten provinces, in, including uh, Mondokiri, Ratanakiri, maybe the uh, so not only Khmer world, Khmer society, um, I would say in the rural Cambodia. Uh, so I think it would be interesting to do that work in 10 provinces and to really see with 10 tables what are the constant and, uh, and the, the vibration. And it would be after a less scientific project would be to, to, to make a book just to enter this and just to, to really to, to give a, a value to this immaterial heritage. I think we always focus on the adulthood and childhood is really a Anthropology of childhood, of course, is as serious as adulthood, just different ages. So, of course, poetry, adult poetry, like how on theater or immaterial uh, heritage, very famous, but children's work is really not too. And I think it would be interesting just to, to, to put it in a value. And second, and I finish on that, it's also interesting because it's not, I'm not absolutely not in a culturalist perspective, it's not uh, a Khmer specificity because we find it in other countries and I think it's interesting to just get these curiosities of why in, Tom, in Togo, in France, in Cambodia, in China, the kids from 4 and 12 spontaneously play this kind of games. Why? And why, it has to be checked for other countries, is female thing. Well, I think it's interesting. I have hypothesis uh, because it's gender, uh, you have to include gender studies in that kind of question, of course, uh, it's not natural. And uh, so it's controlled, so it's, I think it's interesting. So yeah, the idea is immature inheritance in childhood and why everywhere for girls. So sorry, I hope I, I was clear in English. <laughs> so thank you. I, I, um, so in your observations so far, have you seen any reaction or response from adults when these children are playing? Is there any crossover of the line between the children playing and the adults nearby? No, I would say it depends on where they play these games. Mm -hmm. They play under the house, it's not the same thing as playing uh, in the streets. Mm -hmm. And what's more, it's not the uh, PC's games are the worst because they are associated with uh, the Bainsey song. So money games, gambling. Mm -hmm. So these are very, uh, have a negative uh, moral value. Mm -hmm. But these games are okay, and I, I just remind you that this game was for, or not teached, but the first experience of this game is in the maternal also. Mm -hmm. They learn it when they are to, uh, when they learn to speak and uh, how to move their hands. So there is a big, I think, a continuity between playing with sounds and hands when you're a kid, and five years later being like that. And just a follow up to that. So. If it's dependent on the space and the environment, the children are independent. But this idea that it was it was uh, it was a learned game, let's put it that way, rather than taught, it was a learned game. Within the children, within the within that community of children, is there uh, teaching or correction being done within yep. the game? Yep. And is it correlated to the age? Yep. And there uh, is will be uh, will be correct, but it's not direct correction. It's okay. just comments, comments, and the, the the ones are just observing around and after they try together. So it's very step by step process. And I have movies. It's amazing. Like uh, maybe twelve years old girls, they play choreography very fast, very. It's, it's a real uh, knowledge. I don't know. It's an interesting thing. For the Khmer reason, uh, do you have any idea about the texts? No, it's a Khmer reason.
So it's, it, it, it's very interesting. Uh, as I told you, some of these games I myself played and, you know, when we were small. And, uh, and usually, you know, society changed, and we know that. Uh, when I was young, I grew up in a small village too, uh, in, in Bukum from province. And we play this, and usually we, we, we don't want to play the, uh, the bigger uh, adults. I mean, we seclude ourselves and go to uh, I a mean, uh, safe space for, for us, yeah. you know, for who are of uh, the uh, similar age and play together. But as, as you said, there, there, there are variations from, from place to place. Uh, I don't know, like, uh, for example, uh, there are a few mentions of Vietnamese somewhere in a few of these games. And I myself have no knowledge of them, for example, in my generation and in my location. Yeah. So I think that might have something to do with the location, yeah. maybe the experience of the village, and that's why it would yeah. be very interesting to do it in ten provinces. Because if you take just chapter down, just the first one, you can see, for example, we will have fifty versions of it. And what would be interesting is to know what can, is every, in every version. And for example, chapter down will be in every. So what can we take as constant and what are the variations? So I think it would be interesting to see what, what can we find in the 10 provinces and what is not. Because maybe the variation, there are maybe 1,000 variations. But what are the constants? It would be interesting. And maybe we, um, my studies are have some, like, you know, maybe the work of H. Lee this kind of anthropology. Uh, they do an archaeology, so to try to understand uh, can we s get to the past through stones, rituals, ceremonies, etc. So maybe it would be interesting to, to see in this text if we can find chapter down, but some parts are everywhere. Maybe it can be interesting to, to go further to try to understand where does it come from? We find it in every place, so where does it come from? I think your, the, the questions that you plan to investigate, this is the why they play question and the what they learn questions are very, very important, yeah. important questions, you know. And, and when you said, uh, uh, when you were a kid, it, it was nice to be a bit shy with the old header and to get here, yeah, it's why, yeah. why, and this is what I told you, what is, why, the meaning, yeah, the why means they play, yeah. and yeah. this is very hard to, yeah. to understand, and that's why I was talking about like, pragmatic and maybe phenomenology, but, yeah. but but uh, pragmatic is really to, to, to go to until the subjectivity. Why you, uh, with your name, Dara, why do you like to play this game with these people? So, it would be very interesting. So, yeah, very interesting. And, uh, for anthropologists like you, in, in, in the country, usually, you know, we don't have playground, a formal playground. Usually, we play uh, uh, near our house, under our house, or, or even in, in the field. Yeah. The field, so so that that's how we interact uh, with each other, with, with friends and uh, kids in maybe kids in, in urban area, the city like Mumbai today, they don't have a chance to make friends with their neighbors. It's hard for them, and also you know they don't learn it maybe from their parents. Yes, yeah. that's why it's uh, no, I don't work in, uh, in the city, which is not bad because it's a different ecology. And so it's impossible uh, first to work on the it will be enough. Yeah. Um, I come from England. And, uh, <coughs> sorry, I come from England. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Not France. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and I'm by no means an expert on children's games. I know very part of the fact I was a child of the ones. But as far as I'm aware, in England we had songs called nursery rhymes and games uh, which re relate to something in the nation's history. And sometimes the nursery rhyme is actually quite subtle. Subtle. Um, 
Il faut que vous soyez subtil. Bien. Il faut que vous soyez subtil. Il faut que vous soyez subtil. Il faut que vous soyez subtil. Il faut que vous And as I say, it relates to something in the psyche of that nation. And usually it's a traumatic event that occurred. Uh, it's interesting, for example, to say I can't read it. And uh, when children play soldiers, it's always the English and the Germans. But mm -hmm. well, that finished 60 years ago. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it, they're the enemy, they're still the enemy. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and it's interesting from that point of view. Uh, and those games that you described on board, they're totally they're horrid. I've, I've never heard of them before. Now, I'm sure it relates to the uh, historical background. It's, it's, uh, if it is, it's, I didn't catch the point yes. yet. And Very. usually, the nursery line or song is originated as a form of propaganda mm -hmm. by uh, how the establishment of power to be, uh, as a form of propaganda or persuasive. Yeah. It would be very interesting to get to that point, but uh, so far, even my colleague historian didn't get any point. You see, we have a nursery line that I'm going to see. And I'm interested to know if you've heard this one before, whether it's international or just. Uh, Ringa Ringa Roses, a pocket full of roses, a tissue, a tissue, you all fall down. You've heard of it. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking of. What during this. Where do you know? I'm from the States, from Chicago. Yes. What do you understand by that? So, so when I was growing up, yes. I thought it was about um, flowers. A ring, a, a ring of flowers, poses, yes. and um, yeah, we just we we held hands, and we danced in a circle, and we all fell down. And I know what it's about now, but when I was growing growing up, I just thought it was about flowers. Yeah. Well, here's the variation. I'm also from the U.S., but instead of tissue, I learned ashes. Ashes, we all fall down. Where's the end? What is ashes? Ashes, like to death. Well, like they die. Uh, They're ashes. Yeah. Well, you know the, the derivation of the tissue bit. You know what that means. Well, I didn't assume it was tissue. sleep. Yeah. So the contagious. Yeah. What, what's the meaning of your. Tell so it, it, was, it was. Um, the black play. Play, play. Yeah, the black play. And how yeah. people. Ring, the ring was on your skin. Uh -huh. And then you, you got it. So how it cozy was. You smell it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It smells. I just knew it was about the people who died from the flower. You smell it all the time, so you're not infected by it. And now my only understanding of posies are the unlabored thing. It's just a bunch of flowers. It's a yeah. bunch of flowers. Yeah. The red flower. That's the poppy. I'm sorry. Poppies and posies. Also, the sound like the same thing. <laughs> we don't know the difference. <laughs> but yes, all, that was the song I was thinking about. And there are several others of Sydney. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Um, how do you, how do you get there? How, how do you know a group of children play this is part of game? Because to me, it's the game of the kids and the communists. <laughs> But as you can see, this is a point. It's mostly relatively small part of the coin. So, and describing about lies in the countryside. That's why it's the people, the, the kids in the in the in Phnom Penh, not mostly play that. And it's also hard to remember that because it's not a simple text, but it's a poem. So the question is, how did you how did you get there? How did you know that? And why did you choose this group which helped the kids in the jump rather than the kids in the yeah, um, yeah. Uh, see the yeah. normal coaches? But uh, why is this? Is because I needed to, to 
work in one place, I wanted to do micro ethnography. Uh, so it's been seven years in the same place, so why not the uh, one? It's, I had to choose one. But after, how did I get uh, this text? It's because I, it's been seven years, so in, on the playground, uh, after a meal, uh, you can see a lot of um, sister, two sisters playing that, and after two girls later, two boys. And, uh, so I saw it, and my friend, I wasn't looking on that uh, during the first two years, but I saw it, okay, what's that? You record, you write, and after two years, okay, what's that? And I, I tried to, to make it, okay, at least I went back to, to, the, to the kid, I said more, I said more. So uh, this is like that, I, I build that as a purpose. Do you play like every day? Or no. Do they play all the like, time, time, new game, and that ends in it, or, or just? Occasionally. Occasionally. I'm just wondering if there is some kind of link with, uh, for example, on uh, hopscotch, they play during the dry season. So I would say it's more during the dry season, this kind of game, so I'm not sure about that. But I don't know. There are no, it's, it's, it's by, uh, by random. So uh, sometimes it's hard, and especially when I need the text, it's easy. You just, I know them, so, so I just ask. But what I want to observe without asking for, which is most interesting, I just I have my my uh, in my pocket every day from morning to evening, so I just wait for doing my, my my research, and when I see it, okay, cool. So because sometimes it's very important just to have it spontaneously. One question. Actually, who you are in the view the the children in the village? When you meet the children, when we will interview the children, they sing a song the same from person to person or different. Or oh. when they, they, they sing a song song game, yeah. when they play the game and they shop, sing a song, is it, it is the same from one to one yeah, or yeah, some, yeah. In some the, is a different. In, in the village uh, ninety percent same in, in, in at the village scale. You have some variation on one word because in the past, by, si by became si boy because boy is English, uh, the, the boy, you know, so you have little things like that, but the same. You know, you, the, how many people the, the How many people? How many kids? In village, the you interview? Three. Three? Yeah. From, from village to village, is the same, right? No. No, no. As it's I told you, uh, in one village, it's similar. In yeah. three villages, it's seventy percent similar. Yeah. Similar in yeah. three villages, seventy percent. Oh, some the same, but some longer and some shorter. Different words. Yeah. Yeah, but mainly same. That's what, that was the reason. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, I noticed. Um, that these rhymes are using the informal speech, and I don't know if that plays into the sociality between children because they're both kind of at the same level. But like that last round uses the word C, and C is a very informal, vulgar use of the word eat. Yep. And so maybe it goes back to what Sia was saying. Maybe that's why you know the children are kind of going into their own space because they might be using a very informal language and they don't want adults to hear yeah. or I don't know if you looked at kind of the higher Yeah, that's true, but especially from the, the, the some words, but for example, C is not a good example because adults say it too. Mm -hmm. See by. So it's, yeah. it's really a problem. It's in, in, in uh, not bad, it's very rare, but in, in the village it's very colloquial. Bad man. The link between the text and the reality. This is uh, 
very interesting.